Hi guys, it's Rach. Today I thought I would film an impromptu what's in my handbag video. I just got home from work. It is crappy weather outside and it's also pitch black so my lighting is a little bit crazy. I apologize. I really don't know how to film at night but sometimes I need to so we're just gonna roll with it. Today I thought I could show you guys what is in my bag. It's not planned. Just got home from work like I said so it's got a whole lot of crap in it but I thought I could also tell you a little bit about my bag which is the Rebecca Minkoff Cupid bag and I absolutely love it. It is my favorite bag, it is like my favorite color, and I thought it would be a nice time for me to be able to talk about my bag while also making a legitimate video for you guys. So, let's start with that. The bag itself, like I said, the Rebecca Minkoff Cupid, it is one of her sort of standard styles and shapes. I believe it. there's also a mini Cupid, which is the smaller size. This, I would say, is a medium sized bag and it's in the port color. It gets released in a lot of different colors with different hardware. This is the gold hardware each season and it's come out in this kind of color quite a bit, but in like Sometimes it has different names, like similar shades. I know it's been burgundy once. I think recently it came out as fuchsia. It's also been raspberry, which is a really, really pretty color. And then it comes out in a whole heap of other colors as well. But I just I absolutely love this color. Hands up if you are an organizational freak. Hands up if you like having a lot of pockets to put a lot of stuff in. Yeah, right up. This has... So many outside pockets. If you like that kind of thing, you will love this bag. It also has handles, which these ones are probably better for like the under the arm kind of thing. If in a pinch you do need to put it up there, they do fit, but it's not the most comfortable, particularly when the bag is overstuffed um, like mine is right now. But it does have a sort of over the shoulder strap which is adjustable and you can remove it if you don't want to have it on the bag. I think the, the recommended retail price of this is $495 which is a lot. I mean it is a designer bag but it's still a lot of money. It's probably on the cheaper side for designers but a lot of money for just a handbag. However, if you're smart and you can often get Rebecca Minkoff on sale particularly at the end of each season because like I said she does bring out like new colors for each season. So this was actually like the autumn winter for the like previous autumn winter in the Northern Hemisphere. But I kind of bought it at the start of our autumn winter here in the Southern Hemisphere when it was on sale because they were about to go into spring summer and the spring summer colors had just come out. So it worked out perfectly for those of us who are in opposite seasons. So definitely look out for sales. I ended up getting mine with shipping for just under $300, which I thought was a bargain and I just, I love it. So speaking of those outside pockets, you do have a little zippered pocket on the front here, which I don't think I have anything in. Nope, I don't. Don't have anything in that. And then behind that pocket, you do have a little like button pocket here, which is super convenient and it usually stores my phone. However, I obviously didn't put that in there. I do have some gum. Yuck. And what else do I have in here? Bobby pins. More bobby pins. Lots of bobby pins. This is where bobby pins go to die, apparently. <laughs> anyway, moving on, you have the big pocket here. First thing I pull out, iPad, iPad mini. Need a new cover, however, this one is from Typo and has a very pretty kind of pinked out picture of the Eiffel Tower. Copy of MX. Next we have this fun thing. This was actually like the only kind of organized part of my bag. I feel like saying woohoo for organization, woohoo for organization, woohoo for organization. This was a freebie in uh, a, is part of a Nine West bag, but I just really like the color and it stores some fun stuff. Tissues, more tissues, Kleenex, gotta love them. Band-Aid, my little portable phone charger thing. Some hand sanitizer. This one is the Hippo Berry antibacterial hand gel pocket back from Bath and Body Works. What does it smell like? It smells like hippos apparently. I have some Listerine Cool Mint uh, breath strips, a tied to go little, um, this is an instant stain remover pen, picked these up in the US, are amazing. Why don't we have these in Australia? Why? The baby version of Lucas's Paw Paw ointment, I really like this one because it has like a little actual applicator um, other than just like the little squeezy out tube that the bigger version had. I have some Advil that in a tube. Again, I got this in America and I was just honestly, I bought it because 
why can't we get ibuprofen like in a tube like this? It's so much more convenient than like when you get Panadol and you have the little packets and the little metal stuff and it gets stuck in the bottom of your bag and then you end up with like Panadol just running around in the bottom of your bag because it gets popped out. I also have like a little business card holder here. I have this little chapstick tin which contains uh, a couple of lip balms and some hair ties and look at that, more bobby pins. And yet I can never find a bobby pin when I want it. How is that even possible? Pen, which was probably from a hotel. And then finally I have some more, I actually have a ton of different band-aids with a couple of hair ties around them. Again, my attempt at being organized, which my bags always start organized and then somehow it just goes. But anyway, that's everything that's in that little pouch. We also have my shake container which is still full because I haven't drank that yet. A chlorine dry shampoo. I have my house keys and my PO box key which is on a little R thing which I got from Glitzy Glam. Headphones which are perpetually tangled. I also have a hand cream. This is from EOS and it's the Cucumber Melon scent. I picked this up randomly off um, Beauty Bay. I was doing an order for something else and I'm just like oh I want to try that and I am a sucker for weird or cute packaging. And can I just say, this smells absolutely amazing. Pull that out of your bag and people are like, what is that? Could probably go a bad way if people have dirty minds, but we don't, we don't. The next thing I have here is a umbrella cover. And I actually also have the end to my umbrella, which is uh, broken. Does anybody else have this issue? My umbrella is broken, but I put it back in my bag in case I need it. And then I only realize that it's broken when it's raining and I get it out to use it, which is where it is right now. It's downstairs because it's all wet. But then I need it, so I can't exactly like chuck it away. I need to wait until I can get a new one, which it is never the time to get a new one. And then the rain goes away, I put it back into my bag and forget the fact that it's broken until it rains again. And it's like this vicious circle of never getting raped to a new umbrella. I also have my wallet. This is a Kate Spade wallet that's super, super glittery. I know that I'm 25 years old, but I'm just, I'm never getting past my love of the glitter. A whole heap of cards and bits and pieces. You can see my Priceline card has pride of place. I'm rich. Remember when you were little and, and five bucks was like, it was amazing because you actually had like paper money because we don't have five dollars is like the lowest um, note that you can get in Australia. So I just remember thinking five bucks was so much and now it can barely buy me a bottle of water sometimes. Sunglasses. I have the Ray-Ban Wayfarers, which I got for Christmas a couple of Christmases ago. They're just like the standard ones, but they're polarized. I think they're pretty cool. What do you think? Another bobby pin, another gum wrapper. So that's it there. And then we have a couple of pockets on this side. The front two here are kind of what you'd call your phone pockets. However, for me, I have... <laughs> lip products. For a girl who does who claims to not really use lip liners, I have three in here. I have the Milani Anti-Feathering Lip Liner Primer Line Filler, like this waxy one. Actually works quite well. I also have Max Whirl Lip Liner, which I love so much so that I need to sharpen it. And then I have MAC Vino Lips Lip Liner, which is what is on my lips right now because I know I'll get asked that. I've used that and I've topped it off with the next lip product I have in my bag, which is the Rimmel Color Show Off Lipstick in Shocking Pink. This is nothing like Vino lip liner. It's a lot, Vino is a lot darker, but I kind of have them mixed together to give me kind of an ombre-ish kind of pinky, berry, red, pink, purple hybrid lip color. More lip products. I have my Marc Jacobs um, lip gloss or lust for lacquer lip gloss in kissability also a lipstick from benefit this is the good to go lipstick which i absolutely loved and i don't think they make these style lipsticks anymore i think that might be all the lip products oh no one more that's like amazing for me i also have the mac lipstick in velvet teddy which i've kind of been using with whirl lip liner i line my lips with whirl and kind of fill them in pretty much everywhere by like the center and then i put a little bit of this in the center to give me kind of like a a nude ombre. I'm going for different textures on my lips, just playing around. A perfume. This is the clean shower fresh little roller ball. I wouldn't think that like this much stuff could fit in a bag of this size, but I'm just Mary freaking Poppins. I also have a little, uh, what's this called? It's a mirror, Rachel, 
from, I think this is from like Cotton on Body or one of those places that has like all the stuff that gets you right at the checkout. They're like, do you want to just add something? It's only a dollar. Sure. Half the time I don't even need the stuff, but that I actually use. The last things I have in this pocket is some gum. I have the extra strawberry and I have one piece left. So that's the front two kind of like um, phone pouches. There's also a little like pocket here and then there's a zipper pocket at the back here. In this little front pocket here I have a USB stick because I never go anywhere without a USB stick. You never know when you're going to have to transfer files. And then I also have a tape measure and you're probably thinking, Rachel, why? Are you a seamstress? No, I'm not, but you'd be surprised how often you need one of these, particularly if you shop online in random places. I can't count the amount of times where I've been like in a cafe or I've been at work and I want to buy a top and I like what is my size and I need to measure my bust or something like that and that's where this baby comes in. And then I think that's almost everything. I just open the back here. Oh nope, I have more stuff in the pocket here. I have a camera. This is the one that I usually use for vlogging and just like taking photos and stuff. It's waterproof. I do need a new one. I don't know whether I'm going to be doing more vlogging, but if I do, I do need a new camera because that one's been dropped one too many times. I also have some girly products, so they're there. I never thought I would grow up to show tampons on YouTube, but there you go. How life changes. So that is all the inside pockets. It does have two pockets on the outside as well, which I think are pretty much empty. Side pocket number one is nothing. Let's try side pocket number two. Oh look, we have a winner. Have my car keys. These actually just live in here because I do have keyless entry, honestly. It is my favorite, favorite thing about my new car, which you would know I had a new car if you followed me on any of my social media. So shameless little plug if you're not following them. All the links will be in the description box below. I post a lot more on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter than I probably do on YouTube. And I, I want, I don't have a lot of friends. I want to be able to talk to you guys. I'm sitting here talking to an inanimate object a lot of the time. So come chat, say hi to me. But anyway, I digress. Um, yes, new car, keyless entry, so as long as this little baby is near me, I can get into my car. That is everything that I currently carry in my bag. Overall, I do give this bag like a 100% thumbs up. It, it is a really, really great bag. I wish it had feet. It doesn't really have feet. It just has these like little straps that go across the bottom, but... Other than that, I mean, I love it. It's convenient. It's a perfect size for somebody who wants a bag who doesn't want to carry around half their life and worldly possessions, which is what happens if I have a massive bag. I just I have to fill it up with stuff. But you're also not the girl who can just go out with like a lip gloss and your car keys and a couple of cards and you're good. That will never be me. If you need stuff, I mean, I need to carry stuff then this is a really good bag. So that's it from me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was a little bit chatty, a little bit like fast, and I felt like I spoke a lot in a short amount of time, but hopefully you enjoyed it. Share with me what's in your bag. Let me know in the comments below. Film a video. Heck, just dump all the stuff onto your bed like I have just done right now. Take a photo of it and send it to me on any of my social media. Again, another sneaky little naughty plug there. Like I said, links in the description box below. Other than that, I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day and I'll talk to you guys all in my next video. Bye. Did you enjoy that little snoop into my bag? I enjoy snooping into other people's bags. Maybe I'll do my car next. Would you guys like to see what's in my car? Let me know. Give this video a thumbs up. It's not actually that messy yet. It's quite new. But it, it won't take long. <laughs>